Zirel can harness immense amounts of the power. Why has no one taught her to control this? Actually, some did teach her. Clearly, to no effect. I'll gladly argue with you about this some other time. Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help. And for looking after Ciri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Cyril from here, Haida. And then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care Morhen. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses. Arch mistresses of magic. You mean the Lodge? Many of the Lodge's members are dead. The rest are in hiding. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, and Frangilla Vigo are likely still alive. And Francesca? And Ida? Think they'd agree? I think they'll take convincing. Would you rather speak to Kira alone? That would probably be best. Don't trust the Lodge one bit. But doesn't seem like we have a choice. Because we don't. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again you plan without even asking what I think! I've had enough of this! I won't be taken somewhere like a... bundle. I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding. You're right. Prove today you can take care of yourself. Easier to pat someone on the back and hope things will work out than it is to face the truth. Zirel possesses a great power she cannot control. She is a danger to herself, to others. Until she learns to control it, she should remain isolated. First of all, bollocks. Second, if you're going to speak of courage, at least address me directly, and not through Geralt. I'm gone. Ciri needs time. True, but she also needs training. She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary? You saw what happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya. Don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Sierra. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. <laughs> we shall return to this later. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet, either. Oh, Geralt, please, not now. <sighs> By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalarka says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Tell me, how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. Hmm. Don't know about vanilla pudding. Could work. But nothing picks me up like Lambert's famous homebrew. Suppose it can't kill me. Might as well try.
Phew. That strong. Maybe you want to try a different method. We've tried at least 20. Wouldn't let it worry you. Not like you need to excel at everything. You're great with a sword, an excellent archer. Leave the magic to mages. Yeah. Pull me another. Saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen, Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlarith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. Siri, sure you know what you're getting into? Yes, and I must do this. Come, we shall talk on the way. Wait. Something I gotta tell you before we go. You know, the Emperor really wanted you found. Yennefer mentioned something. Wanted you to visit him. Why would you tell me now? Because this could be your last chance to see your... father. Think I should go? Ought to decide for yourself. But I want your opinion. Should I go or not? <sighs> you don't look good in black. What do you mean? Think he wants to meet you because he's missed you? As I see it, he's got plans for you. <sighs> Might have expected it. Geralt, I'm fed up. I won't have others deciding for me behind my back. We ride for Velen. Ready? Let's go. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the barons thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the baron is. Hanged himself after his wife died. Daughter's in Novigrad. A true shame. We stand to find Imlarith here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. 
They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridin's behest, to order the crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalark were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally, judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and we'll be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the Sacred Oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlarith attends too, as the crones guest. Seem to know it well. Avalark's a good tutor. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I've no idea why. Avalark claims vanity is Imlarith's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Caranthir, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalog's student. Should I shoot? The white one once served the ladies. But he's in out. Let them approach. But they've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we've fires down that away, with food and drink plenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. We thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. Mentioned a gate, said we wouldn't pass. Only the chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess, the young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Velen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. Ladies of the wood visit you? If they favor us. My father told me they descended once. Passed from fire to fire, listening to hopes and grievances. So each year, we wait for them to walk amongst us once more. Haven't done it in a long time, then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're afire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Look, a child. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided though it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? 
We gotta climb the mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you, but I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass, she is stubborn as you. Even more so. Figured as much. Oh. Path to the peak starts there, past the gate. But only old Thekla's got the key, so since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Good grief! You're worse than children! Three souls are allowed atop the mountain, and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. What good is he? Pretty damn good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice of reason. It'll tell you to turn back. There's no fooling with the ladies. We're here to find an elf named Imlarith. Siri thinks he might be a guest of the crones. Big bloke, in full plate? Going the right way. He's atop the mountain, all right. You've seen him? Saw him in the bog first. Water froze beneath his horse's hooves. Then I saw him again yesterday, heading up this path. Why are you looking for him? He killed my friend. Wouldn't seek revenge if I were you. Even the ladies bow and scrape before that one. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck, and do hope we meet again, someday. Moons are rising, owls hunt far. It's not ready! Wait! Greetings! Farewell. Mm. Who's that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. Aye. What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. Never had a man. <sighs> Never mind. Got me answer. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. Siri. Wonderful. Who wouldn't want to meet the ladies? My companion comes with me. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. I Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. You misjudged me. I'm worthy as anyone. Mm. Girl? He's sprier than any youth. Only smells like corpses because he kills monsters. And he'll kill any who stand in his way. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right you may appeal my choice. But to do so you must best the challenge. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defiers Auron. Now, 
Bring me the coin. Something's ah. afoot. Something's nigh. to worry. Come, let's get the key. Something's afoot. Something's nigh. They're back. What do you want? Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, can I keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for ye. Now go! That went smoothly. Weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. Stop one. You're a witcher. You've dived in my village. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted a zoo. What's your name, girl? What's yours? Mm. Your name don't matter. Atop the peak, you'll lose it and get another. You may go. And you? Got something to do up there, so just let us through. 
<laughs> Given me orders? You, a human? I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers, Oren. A death sentence. We've no time to lose. I'll tend to Imlirith, you take the crones. Avalark said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. Damn it! Two out of three! Out of the question. I'll climb the mountain, you face the crones. Hardly a challenge. They're extremely dangerous. Be careful. You too. Let's get down there. Oh, hell. I guess I must jump. of love and knew no bitterness. Yum, yum. Return. Your taste lingers on our tongues. You've talked enough.
The sisters said you would come. They saw you arrive in the water's surface. They did not see the girl. But she is with you, is she not? I'm here alone. A lie which will change nothing. A fight like this. The Witcher you slew.
We did it. Barely. How'd it go down there? I slew only two of the crones. The third fled with Vesemir's medallion, my sole memento. Coming here? Good idea. I knew we'd succeed, from the start. Now to find Eredin and kill him. An Orin for your thoughts? Wondering what to tell Yennefer when we get to Novigrad. Tell her the truth. Always. I wonder if Triss and Yennefer have found the sorceresses at the lodge. We ought to rejoin them. Yeah, let's get going. Thank you for coming with me. Come here. Let's go. The oak is dead. The oak, the crones. I fear that was your last feast. What of our acorns? Your acorns? No idea. Path to the summit's clear. You can always go looking for them. Or just go home? This is no longer no man's land. It's no longer the lady's land. It's all yours. But what are we to do? Come, Geralt. It's time. Manage. On your own. Humans. What it was mages the hunters and the temple guard were after. Mages left. Hunters needed a new quarry. Hatred and prejudice will never be eradicated. And witch hunts will never be about witches. To have a scapegoat, that's the key. Humans always fear the alien, the odd. Once the mages had left Novigrad, folk turned their anger against the other races, and as they have for ages, branded their neighbors their greatest foes. Dundee Lion! Ready some tankers! With guests! Geralt! Siri! When I learned Geralt had found you? Glad to see you in one piece too, Dandelion. Where have you two been? Just finished hunting down the crones of Velen and a general of the Wild Hunt. Well, you would have busy morning then, wouldn't you? In fact, you look terrible. Like you could really use some rest. Gladly take some. Point me to a room. Of course. Come on, little swallow. I'll take you. Let's meet later, Geralt. I have a little matter to resolve. I'll freshen up, then await you in the square in Gildorf. Right. Anything happened while we were away? Uh, 
Pretty Polly came down with a fever, and that oyster caught a knife between the ribs, and they're late delivering the sodden triple meat. Dandelion. Lodge of sorceresses. Triss and Yen were supposed to gather the remnants. They're working on it. Triss is upstairs, waiting for you. Yennefer's gone to cripple Kate's. Yen? At that portside dive? Why? Didn't inform me. Imagine that. Ah, and that elf of yours moved into the ruby suite. Told me to tell you he's waiting, too. Gave him your best room? He didn't exactly ask. I prepared another room for him, but he blew past me and locked himself in the ruby. Hasn't peeked out since. Barely eats, drinks only water, and the only thing I've heard from him is, I wish to know when Windblade and Zeriel arrive. Thanks. Looks like I'll have my hands full.